Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. This time we are going to go down another rabbit hole, which is Tales of Grayskull. But this is the first one I have actually got from this line, and I believe it's the first one that is probably the best one I've seen with it coming out. This is what's made me start this one. I don't know if I'm going to collect all of the line, I know the first wave is pretty hard to actually get now as well, especially with the actual turtles themselves. Some of them are going through some crazy prices. I've never really seen them pop up in like local stores, it's just really online stuff. Like even on Amazon, I'm not paying those silly prices. There was one there for like 70 odd pounds the other day. I'm not paying that for the figure. Going back to this bad boy, I mean, I think what a cracking figure. I, I want to really just keep it in line with the Origins type of figures. So I may get a couple more which would fit into this Origins type of style. Let's do the box art on the side. Of Merman. It's just got him there in his little gear going on. On the opposite side, it's got him with the actual tail as well. And on the back, it's got the actual card art. So he's got there with all the four of the tails. Now, this one with Merman, and now um, is it Michelangelo? He is still out there res readily available but it's the other three so and if they are available they're just silly prices but there's got the couple of cross cells on there with one with the legs one with the actual tail so let's crack this guy open have a little closer look flipping the side part it has just got the pop off the legs and replace with the tail which is pretty obvious but I like the little detail so no comic book with these it is just a piece of card and mine has just got the Tales of Grey Skull on the front there but literally no details on the back just blank with Merman written on I've seen other ones where it's got like the traits written on the back of them this one completely blank getting them out of the box I mean he is really colourful with all those pearlized and gold type of features let me just zoom in first and go into his face I mean that detail there he's got all those like little ridges on the top and that like little eye thing that lights up can't think of what that fish it got that fish is like in the deepest deepest part of the ocean where it is pitch pitch black there's fish that have a little thing on the front and it lights up the way can't think what they're called if you guys know drop it in the comments for us round the back he has got those little ridges there going on this is a bit strange, having these, I believe, um, they're doing it with all of the turtles, so you can pop a shell on. So, but he doesn't come with a shell, so why they've put that on there, I don't know. I suppose it's for all, like, the mix and match type of things you can do with these figures. But, look at that mouth as well, and even the teeth. I mean, proper. The detailing on this is absolutely amazing. So the armour, let me just zoom back out. So the top armour, it's like that pearlized type of gold with like the gem in the middle there. He comes with like the usual type of stuff with the pop-offs. So the head will pop off. The arms pop off. The waist pops off as well. And then 
he's got this waistband detailing as well and then the tail itself so the tail we have seen before with Lady Sliver but this has just got the new fin piece to be like a mermaid, merman <laughs> as I've just popped him off at the middle there let me just I've seen detailing on his arms you've got like lightning type of veins going through his arms there and just pop that off also on the chest so just let's have a little look at him without all his armour details even without all the armour details on he looks pretty cool there is actually I know you can see all like the joints and stuff from the inside but it just looks as though it is a bit more detail you don't really you think that's part of it I'm loving that absolutely loving these like little greeny blue electric shocks the hands on there I've seen these hands before I think on the Demogorgon hands with the Stranger Things crossover are the same hands for them here he is with his feet his legs again you've got all the um, poseable details that we've seen on the Origins legs back and forth back and front all that type of usual style same thing with the arms head you've seen it all before the details on his legs itself he's got like little ridges on the sides of them but he actually comes with two accessories the trident which we've seen on the cartoon collection so that can just slide straight into his hand like so and then he comes with this like seaweedy type of veiny sword, a uh, two-tone type of ombre sword now does that, that doesn't do nothing in there, it doesn't clip anywhere as well you'd think you would put a clip with this hand being so big so it's like a choice between one or the other So you could have them there with the sword, even. So let's see if other figures can fit on. So I've got the original Mayor Man. And pop him on that little tail there. Actually, I mean, if it was... I suppose you could end up doing like a whole mass production type of with all the different types of airmans. You'd only need to buy probably another two, three of this set to get the tails in there. But I think that looks okay. And if I just bring in Lady Sliver a minute and just take this part off if I can. Oh, I mean, there comes Teela with the little snake tail on. I suppose you could for all those customizers out there as well you could do a lot with this tail make a few mermaids of your own I mean I think I'll still be keeping him with the actual tail on rather than the legs but let me know your thoughts drop us those comments what do you think of the merman have you gone down the tail crossover route if so which ones have you actually got give us some suggestions 
I like I say I don't think I'm gonna go down this whole line But while you're there, drop in those comments, do the usual, with like, subscribe and tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others. But thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care.